Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Rambeard, and today we'll be talking about a slightly insane mage, Archmage Xylem. In the process of uncovering Xylem's story, we'll also come across Kalak, the former aspect of magic, and another blue dragon with a peculiar love interest. Let's delve into this. For the longest time, Xylem was a bit of a mystery. It has been around since the very start, and during Vanilla you could complete a variety of quests for him. Take for instance Lord Ravenhold's bag. This bag was enchanted, and Ravenhold asks us to go to Xylem as he might be able to lift the enchantment. Xylem resides in Azjara, in a lone tower, and he is a bit funky. He seems alright as we help him gather materials and whatnot. Throughout all the quests we can complete for him, we learn bits and bobs about his history. A long time ago, for instance, when he was travelling with his apprentice, he was ambushed by Morphars, a green dragon tainted by the nightmare. Morphars ate Xylem's apprentice whole, but didn't manage to kill the Archmage himself, obviously. After this encounter, the dragon returned to the temple of Atal Hakar. Here we see Xylem is not all too great, as he tells us he doesn't really care for that his apprentice died. However, the young mage was carrying a powerful artifact, and thus Xylem sends us to retrieve the artifact from Morphars' belly. In other quests, Xylem appears quite friendly again, hence the funkiness. You could not just get to Xylem randomly, you'd have to get his faithful servant, Seneth Lim Yo, to teleport you to the tower. In the beginning of the game he'd ask you for some hippogriff feathers, but eventually he'd just teleport you up there for free. In 2011 we got to learn a little bit more about Xylem. During the Cataclysm an interesting quest chain was released for during Hela's End. It tells the story of Anson Hastings, who has been working on some big project. Some of the supplies he has ordered were stolen in Stormwind and during the questline we found out that the stolen goods are arcane artifacts. On our journey through Stormwind we eventually learned that the thief is meeting with someone that would buy the stolen artifacts off of him. This collector is no other than Seneth Lim Yo, which is pretty strange. Seneth gets a hold of the crate but we manage to track him down fast enough so that we can stop him. Xylem is mentioned a few times again and the idea is tossed that the Archmage is insane. Who knows, maybe he is. I'd suggest you finish the questline during Hello's End yourself, as the outcome is quite fun, but has nothing to do with Xylem anymore. During the Cataclysm, there is also a new questline in Azura that we'll take a look at. Around Bilgewater Harbour, our presence is called for by Kaleg, who is not yet the aspect of magic at this time. He tells us about the black dragons that wreak havoc among the zone and that he wishes to save Azurgos, another blue dragon. He continues on, telling us about the strange friends Azurgos has, and that they may know of the dragon's whereabouts. We meet up with a murloc by the name of Earl, the G is not pronounced. Uh, we help the little fellow out, as he is a friend of Azurgos, and eventually he tells us AZ was looking for magical artifacts, and thus tried befriending the always peculiar Xylem. He suggests we become an apprentice to Xylem, in order to further our search. Xylem has a lot of apprentices this time though, and he accepts basically everyone with some sort of magic to them. We equip a wizard hat and that's enough to become an apprentice ourselves. In an awesome but ridiculous questline we get closer and closer to Xylem, and we have to complete trials for him to show him our skills. After getting up onto some mountain we complete the trials of Frost, Fire and Shadow, which are pretty fun. Note that every time we see Xylem here, it is his image, not the actual Archmage himself. The whereabouts of the Mage are unknown at the moment, as he is no longer in his tower. When you walk around the tower, you see several of Xylem's images doing all sorts of chores, which is kind of funny. After we've completed all of Xylem's trials, he is quite impressed. He sends us off to his tower to just hang out there, and we meet Joanna. We ask her about Asia Goes, and she tells us she knows where he is. As she, like all other apprentices, dies often due to Xylem's trials, she was running to the spirit healer someday when she saw Ezergos there, in the realm of the dead. We go ahead and... die? But oh well, there he is, Ezergos is hitting it off with the spirit healer, which is probably the weirdest relationship in all of World of Warcraft. Uh, we do manage to persuade the dragon to help out with the black dragon problem and we go on to liberate Ajara. Of Xylem we don't see a thing anymore aside from his occasional appearance in a molten front. I think Azure goes eventually goes back to the spirit healer but that's not really specified. This was all for today and I hope you enjoyed this rather strange story. Thank you for tuning in and I wish you a pleasant day. Goodbye. For the past month I've been doing like matchings for universities and try to get into a study. 
ends the lack of content and there will be a uh, lack of content again as I'll be traveling for the entire month of July so there will be uh, barely any videos for that just a heads up